The Getting Caught project was the inspiration of a previous high sheriff by the name of Mark Hayward, who felt that certain children who were on the edge of the criminal justice system would benefit from seeing the criminal justice system in action. He asked GHLL to become involved as well, and from there Getting Caught got started. Since that time, it has evolved considerably. Uh, now we have children from most of the schools in Gloucestershire, and the main focus now is to educate the children. There is remarkable ignorance about how the criminal justice system works, and the further the gospel can be spread, the better, as far as I'm concerned. It's organized by a teacher by the name of Di Harrell, who is absolutely central to the working of the whole project. Uh, we sit one Friday a month and we normally have two schools, but up to 40 children coming on each occasion. One of the most important aspects of this educative process is for the children to see that adversarial advocacy can be conducted humanely and with humanity and does not require shouting and screaming for points to be made. And uh, I hope that this gives the children a sense of confidence and also the ability for themselves to take it on into the real world and argue their cases without the necessity of uh, forcing their point in any way other than in a civilised manner. Of course, many of the persons who come before the court suffer themselves from ill health indeed two of the defendants and a victim in the same case. In a court this morning, all suffered from various degrees of mental ill health. And one hopes that by this educative process, children who perhaps um, are vulnerable in one way or another can gain not only confidence, but have some security and thereby increase their own well-being by seeing the court process in action in a fair and just way. Altogether, um, some 1,200 years, nine and 10 students have attended court, and the judge has taken them through these procedures. Um, the project has been um, supported by uh, Martin Searle, who is the police and crime commissioner. It's been ex extremely successful. In fact, it's um, ensured that um, about 30 schools have been through this uh, procedure. There have been huge benefits for the children. They're not only educational, it acts as a cautionary basis of being able to understand how the law works. And indeed, some of them are interested enough to look at careers in future within the law. They've been able to come to sentencing days where they can see diverse cases. And I think if you realize that something like 7,000 youngsters under 21 are in custody, um, managing to save even one person crossing the barriers of the law costs the country something like 65,000 pounds a person. And uh, it is something that uh, the police and crime commissioner have supported very, very strongly. When uh, one of the cases requires um, a custody sentence, the actual impact of seeing someone go down to, to the cells is, is, is huge. And I think that's one of the great virtues that one, one moment in the court of seeing something like this can deter people and safeguard them from, from committing offences themselves. How did you feel when you saw the person being taken away? Scared. Mm. I think that's the main point. Like, you, you just feel like everything's kind of, everything outside of this is just nothing really. And this is serious, this is someone's life. And when you hear about what happened to some people, mm -hmm. it kind of, it makes you so sad and angry in a way. Yeah, that was really, like, it felt really real. Yeah, Whereas when you think about it, if you hear about stories in the paper or whatever, it's just like a story, but if you actually see yeah. it happening, then it makes it real to life. It True makes you, life. like, see them, act, they are that real person and that's their life that is completely different now. I feel you feel like you're involved. Yeah. Sitting there watching it, it feels like, this is something that actually happened and then you see the person sat in the box 
trying you're to, so close to them. You're de- you're close to them, and you hear the story firsthand, and you hear the like the defence and the prosecution trying to decide what's going to happen, and you just you don't know what's going to happen, but you feel like you're somehow involved in this case, and yeah. it's more than when you see it on the telly or see it on the news or anything like that. You feel like it's happening, and it's part of something you're experiencing as well. If someone was in that place where they could be about to commit a crime or they could lead in future life some sort of crime, then I think seeing someone being taken away and that sort of their life over for the however many years they're sentenced for, I think it could definitely like deter people from making that decision in their yeah, later it's like life. Shock treatment, you kind of realise this is real, this could happen to me and mm. I think everyone needs to see that, whatever yeah. kind of background you're from. Definitely. It's really important. Especially when you see cases of like younger people yeah. as well. Like you can really relate to maybe, oh, if my life had gone that way, that could be me right now. And I think if people are on the edge of that sort of lifestyle, then it could definitely stop them and make them think about what they're doing and maybe choose a different path. <laughs> <laughs>